five years in a monastery simply because I had chili casserole before bedtime. <laughs> okay. If I end up having to wear those pants, I'll be upset. You know what? I'll just look it up myself. Yes, yes, yes. Couldn't hurt. I might still seem quite bright in the head. <laughs> hey, but sometimes the details get a little mixed up. Yeah, okay. See you later. Cheer up, Ben. That's about how senile I'm starting to get. We have much in common. This bottle is corked, and I'm screwed up. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, let's see. We got the map, we got the compass. The compass needle points north. It's all quiet, dull, and monotonous there. <sighs> Must be great. Oh dear, he's getting more and more difficult each day. Ah, he's still young. He hasn't found his responsibilities in the world yet. He should carry out his responsibilities to the circus first, before looking for new ones. Oh, by the way, I hate you, both of you. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Never mind me. <laughs> Come, Spot. Ben is in a bad mood today. Oh, shut up, Grandpa. Just be quiet, will you? Oh, look, the autumn forest, uh, the shore, the circus, and the compass. All right, so we, not a whole lot of choices here. That makes it easy. Let's go to the shore. Yikes, there's somebody there. A stranger. I wonder what he's doing here. A stranger. Hello. Ah! Oh, thank heaven. Hello. You're not an askew, obviously. I'm not a what? Oh, nothing. Everything's fine. At last, I've met someone. Are you from around these parts? No, we're just passing through with our circus. Damn, I thought it was too good to be true. Who are you? Why do you want to know? Are you one of the askew spies? Could be. Ah. Nonsense. <laughs> of course you're not an Askeel. I'm sorry. I'm just a little nervous. My name is Bobby. I've come from far away. Huh? Oh, yes. I am a Chusky. You know? And you are? I'm Shadwick. My family owns a small traveling circus. I understand. So, you're some kind of clown. We're in the performing arts trade. A clown, then. You don't look particularly happy, if I might say so. Chasky? What does that mean? What? Chatsky. You don't know the Chasky? The word means messenger. We perform important tasks on behalf of the king. Chasky. Now I remember. Grandpa told me about you. But you can't be a Chasky. Oh, yeah? Why not? Chasky, our noble messenger is to Corona. Oh, yeah? And where do you think I'm coming from? Well, you rather look like someone coming from a... <laughs> That's right. Directly from the royal court. You? From Corona? I don't believe you. You should. I am a Chasky. And I'm on a mission on behalf of the king. I'm on a mission from God. Chasky are brave heroes. <laughs> That's right. What do you think brought me here? I'm in the middle of a hair-raising adventure. The fate of the world lies in my hands. You're exaggerating. Not a bit. There have never been situations more desperate. I'd rather not go into details. You would never be able to sleep at night if I did. Ha! Like that would make a difference. Yeah, he already has nightmares. Chasky are skilled trackers. <laughs> Even though it may look that way, I'm not lost. I'm just not sure about where to go. That's all. That's my excuse. I'm not lost. I just don't know where to go. Chasky are cheerful adventurers. Ha! 
That's good coming from you. Looking at you doesn't exactly fill me with joy either. I didn't sleep well. I suffer from nightmares. Nightmares, you say? Hmm. In fact, I don't really know much about the Chusky. Unfortunately, I haven't got the time to tell you about my daring adventures, which is a shame. They're full of suspense. Epic, too. And every now and again, there's a laugh or two included. Well, too bad. What exactly is your mission? Not that I'm really interested. Actually, it's a secret. It's a secret. All right, I'll tell you. I'm carrying a precious and powerful artifact. The Whispering Stone. The what? Whispering Stone. Blistering Bone? The Whispering Stone! Why don't you listen? How could I with you mumbling like that? My mission is to take it back to Corona, to the king's castle. Whispering stone? That doesn't sound very powerful. I don't know very much about it, but I do know that it's very important. Otherwise, the royal stones collection wouldn't be complete. It's not a joking matter. As far as I know, the king needs it to prevent the end of the world. And now I'm supposed to help you with your mission, right? <laughs> the clown wants to help a real Chasky with his mission. Now that's a good one. What? I'm sure I could be of some help. Impossible. I'm every bit as good as you. <laughs> At least you're a pretty good clown. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so do your stuff alone. You don't make hey, me laugh. Hey, take it easy. I understand that you're fascinated by my adventures. Mm. Yeah, well... But you simply don't know what you're getting involved with. The life of a Chasky is full of danger. You'll get yourself into big trouble. If you want to help me, you'll need to be 100% certain. I'm 100% certain, uh, sure. So, at least you've got guts. That's a good thing. But are you skillful enough to... In fact, I'm quite a clumsy fellow. In that case, you'd better forget it. As my right-hand man, you couldn't be all thumbs. Well, I'm just as skilled as you are. Didn't you claim otherwise just now? The bugs are very noisy around here. Y you must have misheard. Well, <laughs> never mind, the bugs are I noisy. I wonder whether you are optimistic enough. You strike me as being rather negative, Chasky are characterized by their incredible joyful nature, which gives us the energy to find a way out of even the most difficult situations. Are you really joyful enough? Of course. I'm a clown, after all. Right. <laughs> How could I ever doubt you? Very well, then. It looks like you meet the necessary requirements. Great. You see... I'm really desperate, and time is running out. Don't get your hopes up. I'm not very good at things like this. Usually things get more complicated as soon as I try to help. Hmm. That doesn't sound either brave or joyful or skillful. Maybe I should put your abilities to a test first. Oh, of a course. A test? Yes. You could go and fetch me something to eat. A nice fish would just do the trick. What? I'm supposed to catch a fish for you? I wanted to help you with your mission. If I want to play the lackey, I might as well go back to my family. Hold your horses. First, you show me what you can do by catching a fish for me. Then, I'll fill you in on my mission. Do you think you can do that? I think he's up to something. Can't you catch something yourself? Ah, of course I could. I'm a Chasky after all. But this is your assignment. Show me what you can do. Tell me what you've got. Can't we just skip the fish part? No, Sadwick. I'm afraid not. I need to see what you're capable of before I can let you in on the path of the Chasky. The path of the Chasky. Good grief. I see great potential in you. But the mission is too important. I need to be sure that you have what it takes. Whatever. I'll manage somehow. I believe in you, Sadwick. Look... About this test... You're still not finished? My stomach is about to collapse. <sighs> I'll manage somehow. I believe in you, Sadwick. Are the stories about Corona true? It depends. Which stories are you referring to? I heard that the king is dead. He's not dead, but he's very weak. I think the impending doom is getting to him. 
I heard Corona has fallen. Not yet, but the situation is growing more and more threatening. The Askil have advanced up to the castle. The Askil? Yes. A horrific strain of creatures. It's just a matter of time, I fear. I heard that the end is near. That's right, I'm afraid. The landscape around Corona has already started to fall apart. Like in my dream. You dreamed about that? Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. Why do you say that? Oh, uh, no reason. Forget about it, will you? In fact, I've only heard rumors. Well... Not everything one hears is true, but the situation is serious. You think my dreams are trying to tell me something? My brother Ben says I shouldn't worry. Yes, listen to your brother. Keep uh. on dreaming and pretend you never heard of the world's big problems. Yes, as if you never even met me. That's best for you. Just ignore the fact that the world is on the brink and we're all doomed. Aren't you exaggerating a bit? Oh. You think I'm exaggerating? It already started, Sadwick. The land is falling apart. The end is nigh. Like in my dream. That was your dream? Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. Why? They're only dreams. Only dreams? Only dreams, he says. What if it's not? What if it's a vision? A vision? You think so? I admit, it's not very likely in your case. Only important people have visions. Kings, oracles, and Chasky. Nevertheless, the thought is unsettling. Do you want to see the circus? What? Are you mad? Do I look like I have time for that kind of nonsense? <laughs> you just go back to your circus, Sonny. I have to deal with the important things in this world. So the big responsibilities of this world are up to you? Now that's unsettling. Yes, indeed. And neither elephants nor colorful balls can prevent me from carrying out my mission. Not even cheerful chimps with hilarious hats. You don't happen to have chimps in your circus, do you? No. No, of course not. And even if you had, I wouldn't have been interested at all. For I am a chasky, and nothing can stop me from carrying out my mission. See you later. Later. Alrighty then. Well, one of his jobs was to recruit an audience. Alright, what do we got here? We got... Okay, that goes back. We got a branch. A branch. Exciting. Yeah, let's take the branch. Okay, now we have a branch in our bag. Nice, okay. What else we got? What is this? Island. The island seems to be inhabited, but it's too far away to swim there. The water looks downright cloudy. No, wait. That's just a reflection of my face. Reflection of my face. I can't really catch fish with my bare hands. <sighs> no chance. I can't get near enough before they take flight. I'm too clumsy. Hmm. Well, let's see. A measly dip net for a measly clown. <sighs> there. That'll work. Hey. That actually worked. Uh, Looks like the clumsy little brother finally accomplished something. I caught it without any help. Sometimes I surprise even myself. I hate surprises. I hate surprises. <laughs> I did it. I caught a fish. Ooh, yum. That's the first good news I heard in months. Will you tell me about your mission then? Of course. I'm a man who keeps his promises. But be warned, helping me will put you in great danger. The Asgil are hot on my trail. I shouldn't even be here anymore. Now, please, don't exaggerate. Hmm. You have no idea, have you? Well, are you sure you want to get involved with this? We've been there already. I'm absolutely sure. All right, then. Well, have you ever heard of Shana? Shana? Shana. 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 That rings a bell, but uh, tell me what you know first. She's an oracle, a kind of clairvoyant. 
And according to the legend, she lives somewhere in the autumn forest. But maybe it's nothing more than that. Just a legend. I've already searched until I'm half dead. I'm going to cancel my quest. I mustn't stay here too long. I've got a bad feeling that the Asgill are hot on my trail. Say, about this Shana. Yes? What about her? What do you want from Shana? Corona is far away. Without help, it will take months to get there. I'm hoping that Shana can give me some advice. There must be a way to shorten the trip. An oracle? Can she interpret dreams as well? Of course. In that case, I have to meet her too. Maybe my dreams do mean something after all. Hmm. You could come with me. Really? That'd be great. I'll finally find out the meaning of my dreams. Provided, of course, we can find her. Where shall I start looking for her? The only thing I know is that she's supposed to live in a cabin in the middle of the autumn forest. But where exactly? I have no idea. I came down from the hills in the east. There's a good view of the valley and the whole autumn forest from there. At a cabin? Not a trace. The only things remotely resembling buildings are those ruins to the west. But I've already been there. A couple of columns and statues, that's all. And there's that cave near the mountains. And that finally leaves the forest itself. Maybe you could get a better overview from that giant tree to the south. I can chart those places on your map if you want me to. Well... At least that's a start. Enough of Shauna. Let's talk about something else. As you wish. What else is on your mind? See you later. Later. Contact me if you have new information about Shauna. Hmm. All right, I think we need to go this way to bring up the map. <laughs> yep, look at there. We got ruins, tree, shore, circus, cave. With the ruins. Ooh, what do we got here? What do we got here? We got. Okay, this is the exit. We got all this stuff here to look at. So. Turtle. Is that Yurtle or Myrtle the turtle? A statue of a turtle. Why the artist chose this subject is something for the viewer to ponder. Huh? Can we take it? Holy cow, I took the turtle. There's an engraving on the tongue. It reads, In memory of the mighty sea eyes. They watched over our world for millennia. They watched over us from numerous eyes. We brought them the green round fruit of the Fatalia tree as offering. And they rewarded us by bringing light into our lives. That's odd. Mason poetry. Can I take it? I can't take that. It's chiseled in stone. Can I eat it? I feel the urge to stick out my tongue at him too, but that's below my dignity. Okay, what else we got? Ooh, another turtle. A statue of a turtle. Why the artist chose this subject is something for the viewer to ponder. <laughs> what else we got? Statue. Either people used to have awkward heads, or lousy masons. No, it won't move. Pretty much like everything else in my life. Either people used to have awkward heads or lousy masons. Oh, no moss. There's thick moss growing on the statue. I feel the urge to stick out my tongue at him too, but that's below my dignity. I won't be able to get the moss off with my bare hands. Yes, that could work. Hey. What have we here? I don't know. What have we here? There really was something beneath the moss. A recess next to a royal insignia. Hmm. Seems to be some kind of mechanism. I'd better tell Bobby. I'm sure he must have overlooked it. I can't take that. It's chiseled in stone. What else we got? Uh, a shrub. There seems to be some kind of a path. I have to get through somehow. I won't be able to remove the underbrush with my bare hands. But I'll keep that in mind, in case I ever feel the urge to get pierced by poisonous thorns. What makes you think it's poisonous? There seems to be some kind of a path. I have to get through somehow. It's locked, and I don't see a keyhole. A typical Shadrach situation. 
Mm, what else we got? Oh, here we go. 